Do you need lots of gold? Then build this easy golden XP farm in Minecraft Bedrock. These are the items you're going to need. First, build out 23 with obsidian. Then build up 23 with obsidian. Then connect both of the sides. So you have a big 23 by 23 portal. Next, light the portal so you can see which side the piglins come out. This may f take a few tries. As you see, piglins come out on this side for me. So this is where we're going to make our killing chamber. Next, take your solid blocks. I'm doing glass because it looks good. But you can do normal blocks if you want. And start placing a barrier just like this. And then connect it with the other side so it looks like that. Next, dig all this layer out and place two water buckets down. See where they end up stop flowing and then dig out this row again and then place another two water buckets until they stop flowing and dig out this part. Place two water buckets again. However, once it gets to the end, place signs so it stops flowing at a two by two area. Then come behind the portal and place five blocks with doors on top of the blocks. Place an observer one way and then four others facing the opposite way with some blocks around it. Build the blocks up another layer with a lava bucket in the middle of the observers and then the portal should turn on. And if you want, you can place a block so the portal doesn't constantly stay on. Go to the other side of the portal, then place a block with a dispenser on top of it and place some blocks as I do. Place a redstone repeater in the middle a redstone torch there and a redstone dust there so it makes a redstone clock and you can place a lever here to turn it off then you can place some powdered snow in the dispenser go back to the end of the water and dig down this 2 by 2 20 blocks once you're down here dig yourself out a bit of a room place pistons just as I do and then go to one piston place a redstone torch with an observer with the arrow facing into the next piston then do the same on the rest of them. So it looks like this. Then go out one of the sides and make yourself an area where you'll have your storage system and where you can collect all the XP. Then place some blocks around here so the piglins can't escape and some stairs so you can collect the XP. Throw a trident into the trident killer. Place a lever on the piston, flick it once and flick it again so your trident killer is working. And if the sound is next, go to the back, place some ladders or scaffolding and start making your exit. Next, go underneath your trident killer and dig yourself out a little area. Place a chest with a hopper leasing into it, but make sure the hopper is underneath the trident killer. Then place a rail on top of the hopper with a minecart with hopper on top of the rail. Then place stairs so the minecart doesn't move, but you can still access the chest. And then you can place some more chests for more storage. But if you want an automatic storage system, click the video in the top right to make that. If you did make the item sorter, I'll show you how to make a bin so all the golden swords get burnt in the lava. So go onto this last hopper here and have a dispenser facing down. And then place a block here, here and here. Place a lava bucket in the middle and then encase it with blocks. Next, place some blocks like this. Place a redstone repeater in the middle, a redstone torch here, and a redstone dust there so it makes a clock. And then place a lever here so you can turn it on and off. So that means all the gold swords will funnel through all of here, go into this dispenser, and when it's turned on, it'll go inside the lava and get burnt. Then your farm is finished. To work it, click this lever so the portal should keep on turning on and on. Then go down your hole into your storage system and your trident killer and turn on your trident killer so it starts killing all the pigmen. So you get all your gold, your XP and your rotten flesh. To get even better rates, you can use a looting three sword. I'll now do a five minute AFK test. It's now been five minutes, so I will check the results. So, for the gold ingots, I got 26. For the nuggets, 
we got one, two, three, four, five stacks and four. So if you turn the nuggets into ingots, you get 36. So in five minutes, we got 62 ingots. So in 10 minutes, you get 124 gold ingots. And in an hour, you get 744 golden ingots which I think is really good. And if you're wondering what to do with the rotten flesh, you can sell it to a cleric to get emeralds and also even more XP. So this farm is a must do. If this tutorial helped, make sure to subscribe and watch the video on screen. Also, thank you all so much for a thousand subscribers. Bye.